Hey guys, Brandon with the Galloway Precision here today. I uh, want to do a real short video real quick on something I get a lot of questions about with both the LC9 and the Bodyguard series. We make short stroke body, uh, short stroke kit for the Bodyguard, short stroke kit for the LC9. I get a lot of questions in my email. Um, a lot of first time gun owners don't understand uh, what I'm talking about when I say the two reset clicks when you go to adjust your triggers. Now, the LC9 is a semi-caught double action only and the bodyguard is a double action only. The only difference being is that the LC9, as you can see, the hammer is semi-caught. It stays in that position uh, until you actually pull the trigger. So, difference with that on a just standard double action is, of course, as you can see with the bodyguard, the hammer is dropped all the time until you pull the trigger and as you pull you're doing it it's forcing the hammer to do two actions first action is it cocks the hammer second action is it releases it and fires the round so we're going to start with the lc9 this is your basic function test this is what you're going to do after you've already installed the kit adjusted the trigger done everything you need to do so you're going to start by Rack and slide once, pull the trigger, the hammer should fall. Now you're going to hold the trigger just like this. You're going to rack the slide, letting it go. Now, here's where you're going to listen for your two clicks. You're going to slowly let out on the trigger. One. And see this one? You can barely hear that second click. So I have my pre-travel over adjusted so what we're gonna do there if you run into that don't throw it like I just did you know keep it racked back that way you can actually actuate the trigger and you're gonna turn your pre-travel that's your top screw a quarter of a turn clockwise all right just one quarter turn that's all you got to do release the slide Two clicks, two clean, crisp clicks. That's what we're looking for on the LC9 and the bodyguard both, really. Let's see if you can hear that. Two clicks. So we're good here. Now the post travel screw, the bottom screw, as you know, you'll adjust that out till the hammer doesn't fall. If you go to test and you get your two resets and then you pull the trigger and the hammer never falls, Make sure that you take and adjust your post travel screw clock or correction counterclockwise because you're going to be pulling the screw into the trigger until the hammer falls. All right, so that's the LC9, not the bodyguard. Very similar in how it works. Uh, what you're going to do, obviously, slide go forward. Difference being, um, with this one, since it's a double action only, you know the hammer's gonna fall. The only way the hammer's not gonna fall is if you have the post travel screw out. Now, you'll see in the video it's missing the extractor. This is one of our in-house test guns uh, that we test a lot of parts on, so it's missing parts. But the function test is going to be the same regardless. Uh, so, pull and hold the trigger. Rack, release. Now notice I had to push forward on the trigger a little bit. If you've got to push it forward, then you don't have a full set. Now this one, you may hear three clicks. Uh, something to do with some of these bodyguards, their tolerances are just a little weird. And what that is, is the short stroke bar has ridden just a little bit further forward of the lifter. Uh, and it's a tolerance issue with the lifter itself uh, and it's hit or miss. It's not a bad thing It doesn't mean you haven't put the kit in right it doesn't mean that the kit's not going to work that it doesn't work The kit's functioning normally what that is is a tolerance issue with the lifter uh, It's usually because it's a couple thousandths of an inch too short and it lets the bar go further forward than it should Not a problem. It's gonna kick back every time so you'll hear three one two three Alright, now, here's a malfunction you may encounter. 
This is from the trigger pre-travel screw not being set correctly. It'll be an intermittent from time to time. What happens is you've got your pre-travel set too far forward. Now this one I've purposely not loctited so that as I pull it, it'll come, it's, it'll, the vibrations will undo the screw. That's why it's very important to use blue Loctite or blue Vibratite. This is Loctite. We sell this in our uh, trigger install kits. Our install kits are $10 plus shipping. Uh, they include a 50 thousandths Allen wrench, all the screws that we carry for the different triggers, and uh, this small thing of blue Loctite. Um, this is Vibratite. I use both. Uh, this is just what I happen to have handy. You can get this uh, online as well or from Fastenal directly. Um, but a tube of this or a small tube of Loctite, you're going to pay five or six bucks for uh, at Fastenal, Walmart, Harbor Freight. Anywhere you go to buy Threadlocker, you're gonna, it's going to be expensive. Um, really saves you a lot of money and time with our install kits. All right, so we saw the malfunction. Sometimes it's not resetting, being because I didn't lock tight the screw in place. So we're going to take and see how easy that moves. We know there's no lock tight. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either completely break down the pistol. The other way is just take, put your little dab right there on the bottom of the screw. Oh no. This is the only thing that uh, I dislike about Vibratite. I personally prefer it more. I use it in a lot of stuff, but you gotta really make sure your cap's on there very good because if it's not, it will seal itself up and you're gonna have to cut a new bit. All right, so we've got our trigger pulled to the rear. Take and put a little drop in there. Just kind of hold it for a second. Uh, it doesn't seem like it because you're not going to be able to really see it with your naked eye, but some of that's going to get down in there. We're going to wipe our excess off, and you'll actually see it. If you can't see it in the camera, obviously, you'll see it with your bare eyes. It's down in the threads. So now we're going to adjust quarter turn clockwise and retest. Rear, rack, one, two. There you go. And that's it. So, short little video, not super long, probably 10 minutes at this point because I talk too much. But uh, that's how you function test the LC9 and the Bodyguard 380 uh, after installing our kits. Um, as always, if you guys got any questions, you can always feel free to email me at tech, T-E-C-H, at GallowayPrecision.com. And uh, that should probably right about now be rolling across the bottom of your screen. Um, yeah, and that's it. Uh, if you guys got any questions, feel free to email me. Uh, make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. I'm constantly posting new stuff up on there. As always, be safe, be accurate, and God bless.